guys, uh, it's been a while since I've uh, filmed my last video so I thought I'd get my February favourites up for you. Um, apologies for the really crap lorry thing, it was really sunny this morning and then it decided to go tipped up and now it's absolutely piddling down with rain so I'll, I'll try and uh, get through this fast as I can. It's not going to be a long one today because um, I haven't... Well, I have used quite a lot in February, but more of it's been what I used in January as well, following on into February. So, uh, let's get started. Um, skincare wise, I've been using um, this. Um, it's a exfoliating gel from Zuzka, um, and it's like uh, it's organic orange and vanilla pod exfoliating gel. The labels come off a little bit, but I was really um i was really happy to use this it's um it was sent to me as a gift from susan from zuzka and it's really lovely i actually did a blog post on it the other day reviewing it and it's just a, like a really nice exfoliator i've been using this um on an evening after i've used um after i've used my real sonic cleanse in the morning so I don't use that in the evening, I use this as an exfoliator to get rid of all the dead skin and all the, you know, the yucky stuff that's on my skin from work. And it's just really nice, it um, smells lovely, it smells like Terry's chocolate orange. I've got to about there in the pot, but you only need like a little bit. And it's like a really nice gel consistency, if you can, I hope you can see that anyway. Um, and it's just really nice, the um, the exfoliators in it aren't too harsh, um, it, you know it really cleans your skin and then I usually take a, a hot wet flannel at the end and wipe it off my face and my face is just glowing afterwards and it's really improved the quality of my skin as well so I've really loved using this, um, you know when it runs out I'll probably repurchase some more but thank you to Susan for gifting this to me, it was really kind of you. So, um, that's the face wash. There isn't too many skincare products, it's mainly makeup this month. Um, this month as well, I've been using this little gem. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Now, this is an absolute godsend for when you've got, um, you know, like blemishes or spots, and it really clears them up. So, it comes in this really cool box. Um, if I just take the pot out for you. So I have to keep watch because I don't know if I'm going to lean back and my hair is going to go vroom in flame. So um, this is the pot. Get rid of this. So it's a really tiny pot but I've had this since December and you know I don't think I've even used half of it yet. It's just that good and it's a great face mask to use. It's, if I take this off, it smells really lovely. That's the consistency of it. It's uh, it's not runny, so it's just it's like a cream really that you put on your face. And the last couple of weeks through the month, I've had like a few breakouts. So I've been taking a face mask brush and just applying it to where my spots were. And it's really got rid of them. It's got like um, tea leaves in it, and you know just really really good ingredients to help your skin. And it's just it's really good. Um, you know, there's a lot of bloggers who have been uh, raving on about this lately as well and I just think, you know, it's the best face mask I've used in a while and, you know, it's just got everything in it. It's got, let me see, um, it's for all skin types, eucalyptus leaf, that's it, not tea leaves. And, you know, both men and women can use this, so it's really good. I know a lot of, of um, a lot of celebrities use this as well, so... Absolute godsend, really loved it this month. I've been using it um, every couple of days to clear up my blemishes and that, and it really does clear your skin and uh, spots and stuff. So that's it really for skincare. Um, makeup wise, um, you saw me review this the other week. This is the Rev Revlon Nearly Naked uh, Press Powder in the shade 030 Medium. and. I'll just open that. It comes with a puff, but um, I don't really use the puff. I use my Real Techniques buffing brush to buff it into the skin. And it's just this really lightweight um, powder. I've got it on today. It feels like you've got nothing on the skin, but, you know, it's it's really good. It's like, for the days when I can't be bothered to put my foundation on for work, I'll use this. And it's a really, really nice product. It, 
you know it doesn't look too cakey on the skin it doesn't show up my dry areas it's just really really nice so i've been using that quite a lot in february um also i've been using i finally got my hand on the whoops that was not meant to happen <laughs> <laughs> that went on a little journey all the way into the hallway so it's uh sorry about that it's the bourgeois powder de Ritz, uh the java powder and it comes in packaging you know like this and it's gorgeous it's like really old-fashioned you know from the victorian times and it's a really nice like um how can i put it it's like it's a rice powder and it illuminates your face and it's just like it's it's kind of got a pinkish tone to it and it smells really lovely as well like it smells like uh you remember like the old-fashioned cosmetics or the cosmetics that your mum used to use like in the 80s and stuff like that and it smells like that and um powder is really nice i usually apply it with a big powder brush i'll just get a little bit on my finger and blend that in if you can see that it's just really nice it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it so what i tend to do is use it to set my concealer under my eyes and i use it as a little bit of a highlighter and above the nose when i can't be bothered to use like a proper um you know a, a good highlighter to use for that day so i've been using this all through february and it's a really lovely product so you know a lot of people have got this so i've got it now yay um Last January favourites, I talked to you about the Maybelline 24 Hour Colour Stay Tattoo Eyeshadows, and I got my hands on the Leather Affecting Creamy Beige. Uh, this is really, really nice colour. It's it's one of them colours where, um, you know, on days when you can't be bothered to do, well, not can't be bothered, but if you wanted like a simple look, like I've gone for today, and I've got this on my eyelids. It's um, you know, it's a nice base. It's a nice colour to kind of correct your eyelids and it's just really great and it's you know it, there's no hint of shimmer in it it's just like a matte kind of look on your eyelids and it's really nice you know it's such you know it's a really nice everyday colour that you can use and I really love using it so I've been using that most of February as well um eyes wise you saw me use these in my uh, 60s tutorial video this is the L'Oreal Super Linus uh, Small Kiss Me pencils. Um, they come in. I've, they come in two colours. I've got um, black smoke and brown smoke. And all you do is you twist the lids off. Which one have I got here? Black smoke. And it's like a really large nib that you can use. I think. I'm not sure if the powder is actually in the lid, but you know, it's like it's really nice. You use it as, um, you know, you use it to line your eyes and create a smoky look. And it's, you know, they're quite pigmented. So that's the black one. The brown one's really nice as well to use. Such a lovely colour. It just gives you that smoky eye, like, really easily. No faffing around with brushes or anything. Um, you know you apply this quite messy on the eyelids and you use a blending brush just to blend it in and give you a smoky look so that's the L'Oreal uh, Super Liner Smoky Smees and I've been uh, using these as well this month and I really like them I hope they bring more colours out so I'd like, um, like a gold or a bronze colour um, eyebrows I've moved on from using my Illamasqua eyebrow cake in Thunder because I thought at times you know, my eyebrows look too overdone, so I wanted to go for a more natural look, and I picked up the Soap and Glories Archery Brow Tint and Precision, uh, Precision Shaping Pencil this month. So, uh, oh, wrong end. Um, you use this little nib at first. I think this is in the shade brownie point. Um, and then you use the pencil to fill in the line, so... It's a bit, it's a, I found it really easy to use, you know, I've got like a really natural brow shape with it and, you know, it doesn't look like I've actually got anything on my eyebrows, so I've really been enjoying using this as well. And, you know, it, you can't go wrong with soap and glory, really, they're like, the, they're amazing, so. Um, and last but not least, I've got my hands on, you'll probably see in the review that I did a couple of weeks ago, 
of the um, Maybelline Colour Drama Pencils. So I picked up three of these the other week and I've got three different shades. So you've got uh, Light It Up, uh, Berry Much and da -da -da, Red Essential. Red Essential is one that I've got on my lips today. So I've been using these quite a lot. They're really creamy, really pigmented. Um, they've been compared to NARS um, satin and matte uh, lip crayons as well. I love lip crayons anyway, so if I just take the lids off, that one's a bit ooh at the minute. I used it too hard. And you know, the, they don't tug while they're on your lips. You can line your lips and then fill them in. They're really good. Very much is one of my favourites. And they smell really nice. I can't put my finger on what they, they remind me of. I'm sure I had something like... Uh, about 10 years ago, I think it was from the Avon and it smelled really lovely so yeah it's really nice but that's Red Essential as well that I've got on my lips at the minute and you know I've been using these, uh, the Intense Velvet Lip Pencil so you know you get not too much shine, you get a nice you know coverage, a nice finish and you know, if you can save yourself money instead of buying the NARS pencils, get yourself these. Because they're really cheap and Maybelline and Boots have always got offers on like three for two or, you know, buy one get one half price and that. So they're really good to get your hands on. There's a couple more colours as well. There's um, there's an orange one I want to get and um, uh, there's a pink one and there's a nude one that I want because I really want Kylie Jenner lips and do a tutorial of that for you. So I've... Um, Sorry, I've been using these pretty much all month and, you know, oh, that was the other thing, not the last but not least, this is the last but not least, um, the beginning of the month I was sent um, this Pro Fix Oil Controlling Spray from Makeup Revolution, uh, they sent it me to test and review and it's the best uh, setting spray I've used in my entire life. Uh, I usually tend to get a really oily tease on when I've had my makeup on for too long and with it being oily, you know, it can make... Your, uh, your makeup slide off your face and you look really shiny and it's you know it's not something you really want when uh, you're out with friends and you're taking photos and that. I did a review of this actually that you can read I'll link it down below in the uh, comments box but it's just really lovely it's um, like a really nice lightweight setting spray and you hold it about say about this far from your face and you just spritz it on and let it dry naturally and my makeup doesn't budge at all all day I get no shininess um you know my makeup doesn't slide off I can actually take photos where I don't look like I'm greased up and you know it's it's really cheap as well it's five pound off their website which is you know an absolute steal so if you can grab your hand grab yourself one of these get your hands on it it's you know it's well worth having in your makeup collection it's really good product and you know it, it's it keeps your foundation and your eye makeup and your concealer like you know it just sets them all day and you don't need to reapply so i highly recommend you grab some of this and that's been i've been using that every time i've been putting my makeup on in february so excellent stuff um that's it really for um my february favorites i know it's going to be short and sweet um hopefully in march i'll be using quite a lot more products and hopefully get my hands on some new products as well um, in the month of March and I can do my March favourites at the end of March so um, that's it really for today um, through the week I've got some really good videos coming up I've got lots of top four videos to do for you I've got some tutorials a hair tutorial um, I've got some really good posts like um, looks of the day um you know outfit of the day kind of thing so i'm really working on building posts and videos on my blog so there'll be a lot more to read from me in the next few weeks and i'll see you soon okay bye